When I first started talking about coins on TV, three decades plus ago, uh, I had a lot of hair, right? And from that point to this point, still loving what I'm doing. But through all that time, this is the first time I've been able to talk about this next piece. And it's not because it wasn't available. It's because it wasn't certified this nice. Everybody, 1986, that goes back a while, right? One of the early special issue coins made by the U.S. Mint, and we did it for the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty. They made a half dollar. They made a silver dollar we've talked about before. They made a $5 gold piece that we've talked about before. And they sell them in the OGPs, and they sell them certified 69s. But when's the last time you've ever seen a perfect 70 proof? Honestly, when's the last time you've seen it? I'm telling you, this is the first time I've had the opportunity to talk about it on live television in my career. And the answer and the reason why is this. They made 4.8 million half dollars. The Statue of Liberty we all could relate to, and the half dollar was the affordable version of it. The reverse you're seeing here is the family in Ellis Island looking at the New York skyline, and then the obverse is the sun setting in the west, and the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. Gorgeous coin. This is a perfect 70. If you want an eye opener, go to NGC's website, go to the population or census, then go to special issue commemoratives, modern issue, and then just track it down to 1986 proof. And you're going to see this. Out of 4.8 million coins struck, 805 are known in 70 as of today. I'm going to repeat that. 805. 805, and that's all that are in 70. NGC's been doing this for 35 years. Pretty much when this coin was made is when they started, right? And all they have is 805 of them this nice. That's how special the coin is. It is outright scary. Now, look at the price. If I told you this is a silver eagle, a silver eagle, and there's only 800 of them known to exist, and there was a proof. All of you that know the proofs are going to say, well, then it's a 95W. There's 1,395Ws in 70 condition, and right now it's 25 to 26,000 to find one. And I got two people on a waiting list for that coin. I love it. There's 1,300 of them. There's 805 of this one. It's the Statue of Liberty, the first coin ever to bear the image of the Statue of Liberty in our U.S. history of coinage. And they did it for the 100th anniversary. So how about it tonight, everybody? This is the coin in the show. We got, a, we got 53 items in the show tonight, if I can count properly. And trust me, this is one of the favorite pieces in the entire show. Because it's the first time I got to talk about it. And it's because all excessively rare. Thank you for that, guys. Phone lines are jacked up. We're about a minute in hold right now. We got a lot of operators working. We've been accumulating these for years to get to a quantity where we can actually talk about it for six or seven minutes tonight. Special is, special does. This is that. Competition, I'd love to say I could find one. But with only 805 coins in the world, I couldn't find anybody. Any of the big marketers, any of the big TV people, that we all interact with on a regular basis, nobody had this coin. I could find the coin in capsules OGP for 19, 20 bucks a piece, but they made 4.8 million of those. I can't keep those in stock either because I sell them for five or six bucks, which is where they should be. But these are the best of the best. If there's a coin on the planet, this is the coin, right? Modern issue U.S. coins started in 1982 with the George Washington half dollar. Then we have the Olympic dollars for the Los Angeles Olympics in 83 and 84. Nothing in 85. People got mad, and they said, we're going to bring it back, and we're going to do it big. The Statue of Liberty's 100th birthday is coming up, and we're going to make a coin. Three of them. 
a clad half dollar, a silver dollar, and a five dollar gold piece. Well, in proof, and in 70, which is a perfect coin, the rarest is the one you're looking at right now, without question. 805. And again, the design, all of them, the half dollar and the dollar have that beautiful image of the Statue of Liberty on it. Again, think about that. That's another thing. It's a, 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 a sidebar. For the first time in U.S. history, they put the Statue of Liberty image on the coin. Now, we, the peace dollar kind of has that look to it, right? But it's not the Statue of Liberty. Beautiful stuff. 4.8 million struck, 805 known in 70. The finest, there is nothing finer. And it's under $100. That's the crazy part. Guys, we got to put a one minute clock up. I'm down to single digits, and I referenced the phones are way backed up right now. So, right now, it might be that close to a sellout. So, if you are visiting us via the web, here's my standard comment there abccoins.com, and it's in your shopping cart. It's a joined inventory, the operators in the web during the shows. So push it through your shopping cart, get an order number, and it locks it away, and the operator can't take that coin. A little trick to the process, especially when we're looking at, well, it's about a 15, 20 second hold right now. Everybody, this one's fun. The first coin in US history with the Statue of Liberty on it. It's the half dollar, the affordable version, which is 4.8 million coins made. But in 70 condition, in proof 70 condition, ultra cameo, by the way, there's only 805 known. We're under $100 tonight, which is crazy. You couldn't find this, I mean, this year's Silver Eagle, where there's 100,000 of them. What are those at? Yeah, significantly rarer and significantly less. That's perfect.